G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Rhys Hatley and Jay Cole. How are ya? We're both from the Mozzie Battlers. There's a few other boys part of our crew. They're not here today. They know who they are. We just thought legend. we'd take the time to come out. We've had a lot of questions lately about what we've been using, what we've been <laughs> catching the fish on, and where you've been looking for them. And we thought we'd just take the time to sit down with you for five, ten minutes. The weather's not the best today. We're actually planning to go fishing out of one of the islands and put these jigs to the test for you guys first hand but um i'm sure you've seen them in action and uh jay boy's going to let you know about how we use them uh right oh so we'll start with um the birds eager thanks once again to mikey um, you, mikey you're a fucking legend mate uh he got onto the boys and um collabed with him he's from wa perth and he's a small company and we've Got on team with him, we can't get enough of these things right now. As you can see, we have been using these meathead jigs quite a lot lately. Cannot fold them. Uh, this is a smaller smaller jig, this is a 60 gram for your shallow reefs, 60. And he's got the 100 gram, the smallest. Does stuff up the heavier weights, which I'll tell you in a second, but these smaller jigs actually run as a ball, running ball. Sinker. Look around the islands, um, versatile uh, for your finger mark around the headlands, finger mark, uh, jewies in season, trouties, nannies. Very much so when the, even the current is really slack, um, these heavier jigs are just sometimes a bit too heavy. So running these lighter sinkers, lighter jigs, sorry, come in handy. He doesn't have many of these on stock, but I do believe that Mikey, um, for us, East Coast fishers are going to be bringing out a lot more stock for these 60 and 100 grams so we can all get amongst it that do fish these shallower reefs. Um, Rooster here has got the 250 gram one, I believe, here on the heavy setup. I've just got that one set up. When you do do that drift, you come over that good shallow fish and you know they're there and you drop down and you just get absolutely folded or the sharks eat it or whatever. Oh, yeah, boy. Grab him. Grab the... <laughs> <laughs> Drop down, you just get absolutely folded, or the sharks eat it, or whatever. This is it. This is 250 grams with the three assist hooks with the skirt. I've got a 150 pound leader on that on a 200 Oshia 6 PE Elementus. And this is our go to ready stopper, really. Once we get done on that 1500 that J Boy's running, this is our step up and you have to get them past the shark. So that's why that 150 pound comes into its own and you turn them heads that first 10 meters. Uh, we've had a few females fishing with us lately. A few of the chicky babes out there, fish eyes. <laughs> Perfect for the girls, mate. Out doing the boys sometimes, but um, good, so on, some good of on the them. Some of the girls don't have quite the technique as the fellas, some of them, <laughs> but these jigs really come around. You'll be copping a there. bit when you get home there, yeah. mate. <laughs> you can throw a squiddy or a pilly on that, and it is a, a big strip bait presentation, especially in that 250 grams, 60 meters, is our go to ready depth. If you fish in 40s, 30s, you just won't get them big readies, hey. You might get one or two, but you chase that 60 meters, and that 250 jig just drops straight down right on top of them. When the current slows down, you can go to that 150 just to get a, a bit better action. I'll just replicate the action that we're using right now for you. If you're fishing about 60s, you want to be working that lure about 10 metres off the bottom and then straight back down again. And the beauty of having that three hook assist is if you lose that bait straight away, you're still in for a good chance because there's a good bait presentation as it is out of the packet. All the hooks are quality. There's three of them. The reef fishing has gone to shit. Flats is all quiet. That's the time to go out and drop these jigs. When there's no run, you get plenty of fun. These are our go-to uh, jigs that we have been using a lot lately. Um, getting out wide from Berzika. He does have a lot of other jigs on the market and online there. Do yourself the favour, get online, have a look. Uh, a lot of slow shutter lures there for around the islands, in close, um, south coast, uh, in shut, close for snappers and the rest. It'll do everything for you. Well priced lures as well. Get around and support Mikey there for us as well because it helps us out um, and it will help you out catching more fish. 
Just remember, he's only a small family owned Australian business. He's not out there to make the world, he's just out there to fucking create more fish for anglers in all different areas. So, get on board, get on the website, buy yourself a couple of jigs, and fucking get out there. Get jiggy with it. He's actually kindly set up a discount code for, for all of you out there. Um, he's been very supportive with us, helping us out, but he wants to help you out, um, getting your hands on some lures and making it cheaper for you. He set up a discount code, mozzy 20 um, It'll be in the link below. The, yeah, there's links just down here somewhere where the redfish are. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it.